What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Drink and Me Shay. If you're a returning subscriber, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me. And as you can tell by the description box, I am doing a foundation video today. I already have my eyes and my brows done. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is moisturizing my face. And I'm going to use the Nivea Daily Smooth Moisturizer. I'm just going to put a little bit in my hand. So I am now going to prime my face and I'm the primer I'm going to be using is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. And I'm only going to do four pumps. Everything that I'm using in this video, I will list in the description box below in case you guys miss something. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is my foundation, which today I'm using a different foundation. This is my first time using the Infallible Pro um, foundation. I do use the face powder, so I did want to try out the foundation because I love the powder. So I've already put a little bit on my hand and I'm just going to put it all over my face. And the shade that I'm using is in the Classic Tan. So I'm just going to blend the bits all in over my face. I did not color correct because this is my first time using this foundation and I want to see how much coverage it gives me. So I'm going to go back over this using my beauty blender just to make sure that I've blended everything and I didn't miss any spots and also to pick up any excess product that might be left on my face from this It seems like it gives pretty good coverage, not a lot, but it does give me about medium coverage and I'm sure it's buildable so that you can put on as much as you need, but because this is more of a back to school tutorial, I don't want to use too much because it will run if you have things like PE and So it says that it's radiant and it lasts 24 hours. It has medium coverage and air light texture, which I can't really tell I have on foundation right now either. So that is a good thing. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start highlighting. And I am going to be using the Maybelline New York in the color 20 Sand Sable.
And now I'm just going to take my beauty blender again and I'm just going to blend all of this out. I just want to make sure that I do get under my eyes because I didn't color correct or anything before I put on my foundation. Okay, so now that I've done that, before I set these areas, I want to go in and do my contour first. And I'm going to be contouring using the Fit Me Shine Free Balance Foundation Stick. And this is in the color 355 Coconut. And I'm going to take my contour brush and I'm just going to blend this. I'm going to blend this area going up and around the perimeter. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm looking in the mirror right here in case you guys are wondering why I was what I was looking at. And now I'm gonna go back in one more time since I've let this sit a little bit and just blend a little bit more. And now I'm gonna go in with my Sasha Buttercup powder to set all of these areas, but I am not going to bake because if you're going to school or work and you're already late, this is going to be very time consuming. So, I'm just going to take my Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to brush it over these areas. And this is also to make sure that you don't crease. And I just want to put that on all of the areas that I highlighted. Like I told you guys, I'm not going to bake. I just want to put it on and brush it away. I don't need, really need it to sit. And then after I finish brushing this away, I am going to finish up with my contour. I want to go back in with my contour, the same contour that I use to do um, my cheeks. I'm going to use that on my nose as well.
And I'm going to go back in with this little brush here and I'm going to contour this on my nose. Okay, so now that I have done that, I'm going to go in with my Soft Sable Finishing Powder and I'm going to go over these contoured areas. Okay, and I'm going to go back in with my contour brush again. And I'm just going to go around the same way that I went around with my um, cream foundation stick. I always brush dust my, powder, my brushes off because I don't want to use too much product. I apologize for the lighting too because I'm using natural lighting and... The weather has been extremely crazy, so. So I'm done with this. Now I'm going to go back over the rest of my face with my infallible um, Pro Matte Face Powder, the same as the same as the foundation. Just as soon as I find my little fluffy brush, I'm just going to use this brush and I'm just going to go over my highlighted areas. So this is pretty much it for the foundation. Now I'm going to go in and do my highlighting and my blush. But before I do that, I'm going to go back into my eyes really quick and I'm just going to apply. I'm going to take this blush color and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes with the same brush that I used to apply my um, eye makeup. I'm not going to do eyeliner underneath because I want it to look very soft right now. I want it to look effortless so So now that I've done this, I'm going to go in with my mascara and I'm just going to touch up my bottom lashes. So, I don't really want to wear blush today, so I'm just going to go in, well, I guess a little blush wouldn't hurt, so 
Um, I guess I'll just go back in with the same blush that I just put underneath my eyes. And I'm going to take my powder brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to get a little bit of blush. On. So now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to highlight and then I'm going to do set, set everything and I'm going to do my lips and then that will be it for this. So, okay, my highlighting brush. If you guys can see how the lighting is changing. It's actually about to rain, so. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlight on my nose as well. Right here. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead. Sorry, I know you guys can't see me. I'm looking in the mirror and I'm trying to look at the screen as well because of the lighting. And I'm going to put some above my cupid's bow. You guys, I love this highlighter. And I'm also going to put some on my chin. And that highlight was the master highlight by the Maybelline. So I am all done with that. Actually, I want to go put some underneath my brow bone. So I used the Master Highlight by Maybelline and then I went back in and used the highlight inside of the contour palette. So I'm going to set all of this using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro um, Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Now that I have done that, I'm going to go do my lips. And I just want a nice nude lip. So I'm going to take my brown um, lip pencil this is actually an eye pencil and I just use it as a lip pencil and I'm just gonna line my lips and now that I'm done lining my lips I'm gonna put on some I'm kind of torn whether I want to wear lipstick or lip gloss but I guess I'm just gonna try this Revlon HD lip color and we'll see how it looks Okay guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, once again, don't forget to subscribe so you guys do not miss any more of my videos. And I do apologize for the lighting in this video. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope this was very helpful to someone. 
I am not a makeup artist. I just do what works for me. So, see you guys in my next video. Bye.